So here we have our lovely subject. I think he's a boy, possibly. He looks like a boy to me. Anyway, um, we've got our design onto the pastel mat. I've been working out a few colours um, just here, along the bottom here. Um, I put the numbers here so that you can zoom in if you can, possibly. And I'll, but I'll go through the numbers anyway because I'll, I'll check these as I'm doing it as well. But it did take me long to get these. I just guessed it really and they're pretty well the colours that we're going to need in here. Um, so I've just kind of outlined the eyes. I've used my um, picture here that, um, let's see that, my picture here, I'm using that, I'm looking at that all the time, I'm looking at my lines and I've checked these lines of the eyes and I've gone over them and fine-tuned these lines with this picture. But it's very difficult to see what's going on here because it's so dark um, which is why this black and white really helps the black and white really helps you get your uh, subject onto the page it really helps a lot and uh, so we've got all the basics so what i would normally do before i start um, an area I just would, we will just do this here first. I would just dab it over like that. Just take a bit of the um, trace down paper stuff off. Just take it off a little bit. You've still got the lines there. The pastel is gonna cover all of that. You don't have to rub them all out. So you, your guide will stay. So it's really excellent for that. Uh, okay, so I always keep my picture here for looking at reference. You won't see, I, I have it taped down here. So the ears, I put a note here for the fur. Um, the ears are kind of this colour. We're going to go for this kind of colour on the inside. Now these are really, really a bit bright pink in there. So I'm not going to do them that pink, but I'm going to do that pink there on that ear. But because we're going to do this ear, it's a lot darker. It is pink, but it's a lot darker. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of start with a darker base there, not the white. Um, I'll probably mix a little bit of white in, but um, yeah, I just tend to mix it as I go really. Uh, but I'll tell you everything that I'm using. So here, it's quite a kind of it's got a bit of a greeny thing. Now the background it does look a bit greeny here. But I'm going to do it, um, I'm going to leave it this colour. I'm going to leave it the pastel matte colour. And if I don't like it as it's developing, I'll do it black, I think. I really like black in the background. It really, um, I don't know, I just like it. Um, you know, obviously, it's your picture. You, you do what you fancy, really. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll be holding the board to stop it moving, hopefully. And um, let's let's have a try. Um, I, it's taken me a while to get the camera in the right position today, so I'm just hoping it's going to work. Okay, okay. So I'm going to try not to get in front of the camera. We've got a nice light line here. We're going to do. And remember, we said that there's a little gap here between the hair on his head. There's a little dark line going through there. So I'm going to keep that. This is slightly rounded. And it, this is where it's really important to um, really pay attention to every detail. Because this is what gives your animal the characteristics. And it's just a thing, you just have to get into the habit of doing it. They, those are the kind of things that make the difference. I'm going to go around this in, in white, although it's quite dark. I can darken it up after. But it just helps us get the guide in very softly. See, that's a very soft 
if you look really carefully at it, it does have a little white edge, but it's hardly, hardly, hardly discernible, but it will help it stand out from the background. There's a little bit that goes in there. Don't know if you can see that. It's, it's a little bit dark to see, but it does actually go in there and then it's coming out at this angle. So I'm actually fine tuning this a bit. Just a little bit different from that. I'm just looking at the real picture here now. That can stay there. We'll just concentrate on doing the ear for now. And, um, being very careful here. And just, just smooth it off a bit. Now, all these white hairs here, they'll go on after. That's the good thing about pastel mat. You can put those on after. So we're going to get the base, this colour underneath here, we're going to get that base in and it's slightly darker on the edge. So we've got a darker, darker edge. Okay. I'll do my best to keep out of the way of the picture. <laughs> so, just made a start on the ear there, had to move the camera. Um, so I think it's all right now. So I'll just put that line in there. Uh, we're going to do this, this ear first. Um, I'm not starting with the eyes. I'd normally start with the eyes myself, but to get give you a bit of a feel for the pencils, and um, we'll, just, we'll just start on something a bit bigger and a bit less, you know, um, intimidating possibly. I don't know. I love doing the eyes. They're really important. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of get this colour in here, then we're going to put all these white hairs over the top and we're only going to do these little hairs going out here when I'm sure that we're going to use that background, otherwise there's no point really. I'll do the picture, make sure that I really want to keep this pastel matte paper in the background rather than do it black, I probably would do it black. This is coming out green in the process of changing all the colours in the cat. I think the cat colours are nicer. They're a bit more strong than the um, original picture. I think I've got here somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, so because this is just printed out on printer paper, it's much paler. You can see, see the difference. It's still lovely, it's still lovely. But I just wanted a bit more, more colour, so we can practice doing all the colours. Um, that's got a kind of yellowish tinge in there, which is completely lost, completely lost here. It's gone. All those sort of things make it a bit more interesting, I think. So anyway, um, usually to start, I would just put a little bit of white on. I'll hold the board still so it doesn't blend. And. We'll just go in the direction of the, the hairs anyway. That's what I would tend to do, just put a little bit of white on. And we're going to blend all the colours on the page. That's what you do with pastels. If you do blend the colours, it's quite nice when you're blending the colours if you could actually keep the colours showing rather than blending them all into a, a one lump. Because the colours are also nice. Um, yeah, so this is going up down here. This is very dark here. I'll just put a little bit down there. And then we've got a nice little mass of fur here. If we can just, we can put that in. That's that first line there. This is so light, you can see how I'm using the pencil, just like that, really. Very, very light. Get a base in really. Yep. Then, of course, we've got pink and we've got a darker colour on the edge. So we'll get the the pink. See, I've always already worked out an ear colour for for that ear. This is a lot darker. Now, this is the uh, one nine one. The pink that's in the set of twelve. It's the pinkest pink. There are two pinks in there. And then there's a rusty colour. 
just want to put that in. Now, this is really helpful, I can see, because it's a dark paper, we can actually use that aspect of it rather than try and cover it up with a to total lump of colour. We're actually using the paper. Um, I, I really like to do that. I think it's, it's how pastel was always designed. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how the, the great artists that have always used, always used pastel always would use the paper. As far as I know, anyway. I don't really know much about art history. I've just been busy drawing. You can see it's a lot more pink. Now we, we'll get that pink in there more with uh, white again on. We need to put plenty of this on to get a bit of depth in it. And that can go under there. The black will go on top there. That will be black, I think, there. You can leave that quite dark because those hairs, you can see in between those hairs, it's quite dark. So we'll, we'll leave that. Now, a lot of people at this point, a lot of people that use pastels would want to blend that all in. And I'll show you later. There are, there are times when you'd want to blend it in. Um, but there are other times when you don't, you don't need to do that. Just put plenty of colour on. But literally, you can see the depth is coming through on the paper there, which is good. Then, um, so we'll put some darker edge on, and we use a dark grey, I think, for that. To find it, here it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Now, really, at this point, it doesn't matter if you're leaning on the work, because my hands are clean, and I've got no cream on them or anything, which is probably why they look so old and crinkly, but what are you gonna do? Um, then put the dark area in. We'll just put another colour over that white there so that it, it'll blend nicely in. And just really, really look at what you're doing. Really, really learn to look. If you can learn to really, really see things, um, the longer you'll be drawing, the more you'll realise this. If you can just really, really see things, you will be able to draw well. It's when you don't really, really see what you're drawing that the problems can start. And uh, it's, it's, um, it can put you off because you think, oh, it doesn't, doesn't really. But if you just copy what you see, you can't really go wrong. If you start making it up, you will go wrong this, you know, doing this kind of work. Just soften it all with your finger. Fingers work much better than those um, stumps for certain things. We will use a stump at some point, but I'll, I'll show you when. Now, we go over that, because you can see it's really white there. We'll go over that, don't worry about that. And there are hairs, I could see them, you, can't, you won't be able to see that, but I can see those hairs, the darker hairs are going through over the pink now. And they're kind of, just again, to get the angles right. Now you can see it's not very sharp, because I'm going very softly to get nice thin lines. They are very thin lines. And it just needs to give an effect of the hairs going across there. And then there's a darker patch just starting here again here and those lines are there like that I've got some darker areas in there Move it all off. That's it. Now, this 
this is just like a very muted it's not white in reality that's quite muted there so I'm just going to go over it with um, grey I think as long as it's not white it only gets white or just here it's not really white either there or just where I've just up and gone off dark dark area here see I'm looking again I've done it but I'm just checking it this as a guide this little notch here on the cap when you do it yourself you'll see that just use it as a marker that's where the hair stop coming in like that and around here see that hair is coming through this bit here, that right that line there. So you can use it to over. So you're looking for those little markers all the time. Um yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll just carry on with that colour because it's it's quite. We'll get these this darker. There are some lighter hairs here, but they're going to be they're going to be going over a darker area. So we've already got this little patch here in like that. Already done that. Then it's going up and around like this. There, back hairs there. And then we've got the, there's the, the little bit there that's coming out just very, very slightly. I mean, I've probably overdone it a bit there actually, but it's, that's the guide there. That's the dark. There's a little white bit there, which we'll, we'll leave out. And then there's a dark patch here. So we'll put that in. Some dark lines in there. Um, so you're just kind of building it up really. We'll leave that little patch there for the white and that will be, there's a darker there, just darker in there a little bit. And there's a nice dark streak there. So if you were doing someone's animal they would they would recognise these patches of colour. But especially they'll be looking at their eyes. Now, I never realised how much I use a pencil like this until I did the videoing recently. Uh, but I use a pencil a lot like this. I'm just filling in this little bit here, because you, you you can see we've got this little dark area in here. And this is, uh, I think it needs filling in there really, rather than taking off. So we've got that dark line there, but then we've got a lovely light bit there. Um, so, but yeah, so yeah, this is how I do fur, just like that. Just keep moving the pencil around. It's not a particularly sharp point at all. Um, so you don't really need to go mad on your sharpening. Uh, these pencils are particularly good, they're quite a bit harder than a lot of pastel pencils and they do they do keep their um, 
they do keep their uh, points really well. Now this is a dark patch, so this is that patch there. And because we went round it in white, you, it's left, it's left it black. And you could just put those in. And you see the hairs are going that way, so I'm putting them in that way. And we'll also put some hairs over the top of that. So, yeah, I mean, really, all we're, all we're doing is just looking at what you see and making it the same. That's dark, but I'll lighten that up a bit. When I can see anything that's got a bit of depth in, I like to put it in. Uh, it just, just helps you get your bearings, really. And these, this dark area here, you can see it's going across, and it's going across in a straight line. It's pretty well horizontal there. So it just goes down a little bit and then it goes across like that. And then that's going into the hairs that will be coming around here. They're mostly light, but there are some dark ones. You don't have to be exact, but the, the marks that you can really see stand out, pop them in. just now look at that the top bit there and just think oh yeah it's going rounded so just put it in and there's just nice black mark there and that's going up there in black well this is gray actually I'll, I'll go over it in black and then you'll see a real difference I mean, this might look, look a bit fussy to you, but when it's when we finish the air, you will think, oh yeah, it, it has actually worked. But this is how I just I just happened to do it my way, and um, it seems to work all right. So at this point now, I'm going to put in a, a kind of pinky. There's a little mark here. I want to put in this mark here, kind of pinky white. So I've put a bit of pink in it and then going to go over it with white. But there is a little, see there is a little line in between that mark there. That's, I don't know if you need to be that fussy about it, but it's, it's just, I've noticed it's just those kind of things that really, really help. Okay, so we've got a nice pinky area there. And it's all sort of hatchy. This is called hatching, I think. Just to make it a bit hairy looking. Now, with our white pencil now, we need to... That isn't white, but it's it needs to be a bit thicker. And like I say, I think I've just done that slightly wrong there. That's better. Okay, so we're just going to get it about that, about the thickness that it is on there. Now, when you see the edge of a, an animal's ear, it's never really flat, is it? It's all kind of hairy. So I like to put, put those in. Just gives that effect. And if you just smudge over it, it gives you that effect anyway. You don't need to put every hair in. We'll put some little hairs back here because I can see those. And um, this, this little bit up here, we'll put this in here. This is actually grey. This bit light grey and we've got our little line but you know I'd be I've said it'd be very careful to leave that in because that differentiates the back of the head the ear is in front of it so just things like that make you know are important and the hairs are going up Um, so we'll change the colour of that in time.
see what a light touch you need. You don't need to go mad on this. Okay. Um, before I do all this, I'm going to check the camera again because I've got to get the hang of this and get it right. Because if I carry on and you miss the next bit, it won't be good, will it? It won't be good for my video debut. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera now and come back maybe, maybe tomorrow. Okay.